Ellie and Her Emotional Dragons, written by Joseph Goodrich, illustrated by Tracy Van Wagener, narrated by Aaron Riemann and Richard Riemann. Ellie has four tiny dragons that magically appear from her closet when she is happy, sad, scared, or mad. Naz is a green dragon that helps Ellie when she is nervous or scared. Nolly is a blue dragon that comforts Ellie when she is sad. Tully is a red dragon that calms Ellie when she is feeling mad. And Hani is an orange dragon that loves to laugh and dance when Ellie is happy. Ellie and her mommy and daddy just moved into an old house that makes strange noises that scare Ellie. The radiator in the corner of her room makes a hissing sound, and the floor creaks when she walks near the bottom of her bed. One day, Ellie jumped onto her bed and covered her head with her favorite blanket. Nas appeared from Ellie's closet. Ellie, why are you so scared? Nas asked. This old house makes noises that scare me, Ellie said. Nas looked over at the radiator making a hissing sound in the corner of Ellie's room. Ellie, it's okay to be scared of your new room. It takes time to get used to a new home. Ellie took her head out from under the covers. Sometimes the best thing to do when you are scared is to take a deep breath and tell the thing that scares you, I'm not scared of you anymore. Okay, Nas. If you're not scared, then neither am I. Ellie said excitedly. Ellie walked over to the hissing radiator and said, I am not scared of you anymore. Nas was proud of Ellie for not being scared anymore, so he gave her a tiny dragon hug and disappeared into Ellie's closet. Later that morning, Ellie's mom called. Ellie, come say goodbye to Daddy. He's going to work. Ellie ran out of her room towards her daddy, who was dressed in his pilot uniform. I have to go to work now, Daddy said. Be good for Mommy, and I'll be home soon. Ellie felt very sad, and she started to tear up. She gave her daddy a big hug. Daddy, please don't go, she said. I will miss you. I'll be back before you know it. Ellie waved as she watched her daddy drive away. She ran to her room and began to cry. Nolly appeared from Ellie's closet. Why are you so sad, Ellie? Nolly asked. My daddy left, and I miss him, Ellie answered. It's okay to feel sad when your daddy goes to work. It means you love him very much, Nolly said. I like to draw pictures when I'm sad. Ellie looked up at Nolly and wiped her eyes with her arm. Then she drew a picture of herself playing outside with her daddy. I'll give this to my daddy, and he can take it with him the next time he goes to work. Nolly was so proud of Ellie for not being sad anymore, so he gave her a tiny dragon hug and disappeared into Ellie's closet. A few minutes later, the doorbell rang. Hey, Ellie, Mom said. Come meet our new neighbors, Jacob and his mommy. Ellie gave a little wave. Hello, Jacob. I'm Ellie. Would you and Jacob like to go to your room and play? Mom said. Okay, Jacob said. Jacob and Ellie ran to Ellie's room. Jacob was looking around for something to play with when he found the picture Ellie drew for her daddy. He took the picture from Ellie's desk. Who is this? Ellie's face turned red, and she started to get mad. Hey, that's not yours! Give it back! She yelled. Ellie grabbed the picture to take it away from Jacob. It tore in half. Jacob dropped his half and ran. Before Ellie could chase after him, Tully appeared out of her closet. Ellie, why are you mad? Tully asked. Jacob ripped my picture, Ellie said. It was for my daddy and now it's ruined. It's okay to feel mad when someone ruins something you worked hard to make, Tully said. But we can always draw another picture. Let's take three deep breaths together to calm down. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, 
four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. There. Now don't you feel better? Tully asked. Yep, I do, Ellie said calmly. Now I want to draw another picture for my daddy. Tully was proud of Ellie for not being mad anymore, so he gave her a tiny dragon hug and disappeared into Ellie's closet. Ellie was sitting at her desk to draw a new picture for her daddy when Jacob came back. I brought tape. Ellie, I am sorry for ripping your drawing, Jacob said. I brought tape to fix it. Jacob taped both sides of the picture together and handed it to Ellie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ellie said, jumping up and down. Now I can give it to my daddy when he gets home. I have to go now, Jacob said. I hope your dad likes the drawing. Later in the day, Ellie went to the kitchen to help mommy cook dinner while they waited for daddy to come home. The front door opened with a creak, but Ellie wasn't scared. Daddy's home, Ellie shouted. She wasn't sad anymore. She leaped into daddy's arms and she handed him the neatly taped picture which she wasn't mad over anymore. I made this for you. And I made a new friend, too. Super duper. This is the best picture ever. Daddy said. What's even better is playing soccer outside with my daughter. Just like my drawing, Ellie said. Yep. Daddy said. Now, go get your ball. Ellie wasn't scared sad, or angry anymore. Instead, she was happy. Ellie skipped to her room to get her soccer ball. Hani appeared from her closet. Why are you so happy? Hani asked. I made a new friend. My daddy likes my drawing, and we're going to play outside together, Ellie said. When I'm happy, I like to do my happy dance with a friend, Hani said. Hani flew around Ellie's room while Ellie danced a happy dance, too. Hani was proud of Ellie for being happy, so he gave her a tiny dragon hug and disappeared back into Ellie's closet. Ellie, let's go play. Daddy called. Ellie played outside with her daddy before eating dinner and getting ready for bed. Ellie's mommy and daddy tucked her into bed and kissed her goodnight. As she began to fall asleep, Nas, Nolly, Tully, and Hani flew out of Ellie's closet and snuggled next to her. Good night, Nolly. Thank you for helping me not be sad. Good night, Tully. Thank you for helping me not be mad. Good night, Hani. Thank you for the happy dance. Good night, Nas. Thank you for helping me not be scared. Good, Good night, Ellie, said all four dragons. Thank you, thank you for being such a great, great friend. friend. This has been Ellie and Her Emotional Dragons. Written by Joseph Goodrich. Illustrated by Tracy Van Wagner. Narrated by Aaron Riemann and Richard Riemann.